You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. Baltimore City's Department of Public Works is going to stop picking up recycling to try and keep up with trash collection. The announcement came on Thursday. Recycling pickup will end as of this coming Monday and not start again at least until the beginning of November. For months, Baltimore City residents have been complaining that recycling and trash has been piling up all over the city. DPW officials say ending the collection of recycling should help. The backlog has become so significant that it has taken days or sometimes over a week to make up the miscollection routes. Yes, residents certainly know that. Now DPW is going to start asking them to take their own trash to some new sites around the city, what they're calling community collection centers. We got a list of where those are on the website, WMAR2news.com. Also this morning, state police are investigating a crash and a mysterious death in Owings Mills. A man apparently walked away from the crash but was later found dead. Authorities responded to reports of a hit and run crash on I-795 Monday night. Minutes later, another report of a single vehicle crash. They believe a man named Marcus Nix lost lost control of his vehicle on the exit ramp. State police found that van, but they did not find a body. The next day, members of his family went back to the scene. His fiance actually found the body in a grassy area on the opposite side of the road, some 300 feet from the spot where the crash had happened. Authorities are now waiting on the results of an autopsy to find out how Marcus Nix died. And a part of 295, the BW Parkway, will be closed this weekend. It's the part in Baltimore City. Starts at 9 o'clock tonight between 295, uh, between Bush Street in Baltimore near the Horseshoe Casino and the Beltway that will be closed and reopen five o'clock Sunday morning. At the same time, one lane of the northbound will be open. There are other street closures around the city for construction this weekend. Find those at WMAR2news.com. And now from WMAR2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Friday, everyone. On this Friday, we're tracking the heat and the humidity once again as we go into the afternoon. And that uh, humidity is going to stick around as we head towards tomorrow as well, as we will have the remnants of Laura on us bringing in that tropical air mass. For today, we will have some thunderstorms that could be on the strong and severe side, really moving in 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and some heavy rain damaging wind will be the biggest threats with that. Storm Prediction Center does have us in a marginal risk for today and a slight risk for tomorrow, so a 1 and 2 scale one day, the next day and high temperature right around 92 degrees for today. And once again, the remnants of Laura moving in on Saturday, Christian. Okay, Lynette, thanks very much for that. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. And you can download the WMAR2 News app. It's in the App Store. It's got live radar and you can set up breaking news alerts to come straight to your phone or tablet. Thanks for watching. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.